Hi friends, welcome back. Today onwards we are starting a new session to familiarize the subject that are important in the aspect of industry, theory, purpose and to empower our knowledge. This session mainly focused on the subject in the 3rd, 5th and 7th semester BPharm syllabus. First of all, we are today discussing on the topic pilot plant scale-up technique coming under industrial pharmacy subject in 7th semester BPharm syllabus. So, let's start the journey and become uh, familiarized with this important topic in industry as well as so we can start. First of all, what is pilot plant scale-up? Pilot means it is a part of the pharmaceutical industry. So, when you heard about the word pilot plant, it is related or a part of pharmaceutical industry. This concept should be thorough in our mind. Pilot plant related to pharmaceutical industry. Here, in the pilot plant, the thing is that we are converting or transforming a large scale formula into a viable product by the help or by the development of a liable practical procedure for the manufacturer. That is simply the concept of pilot. So we can tell that with the help of R&D, that is research and development, we are introducing the pilot plan and converting the, with the help of R&D to into a viable product. Well, in the case of scale-up, we are using the data obtained from the pilot plan model and designing a prototype or designing a formula that is simply the scale -up. so we can move into the definition of plan pilot plan and scale the difference is that plan means it is a place where five m's like money material man method and machine are brought together for the manufacture of the product as we already said pilot plan is the part of the pharmaceutical industry here we are converting a large scale formula into a viable product but thereby we are developing a liable and practical procedure for the manufacturer and by utilizing the pilot plan model we are designing a prototype using the data obtained from pilot plan model that is scale up so what are the objectives of maintaining or obtaining a pilot plan scale up this is by which we are avoiding the large sum of money that is spending that is before going to a huge sum of money we are doing in a small scale purpose so we can avoid the loss of money and first of all we are examining the formula to determine if the formula is withstand the batch scale and process so if it is not working we are doing modification so that will help to modify the formula and finally we are evaluating and validating the process as well as equipment. So these are the objectives for doing a pilot plan. So this pilot plan studies allows the investigation of a product, new product, as well as the process on an intermediate scale before large money we are giving for the full scale production. But it is usually not possible to predict the effects of a manifold increase in scale because in pilot plan, we are giving for a small quantity or in small scale. If we are converting to large scale, some errors may occur, but we can control into a small extent. It is not possible to design a large scale processing plan from the level 3 alone with any degree of success, but this doing this way will help us to achieve success in large scale. This pilot plan can be used for evaluating the results of the laboratory studies and making the product process corrections, improvement, etc. And it is also done to carry out the chemical, microbiological evaluation, limited market testing, shelf life and storage stability study. It also provides data to make a decision whether or not to proceed a full scale production or it become a success or not. We can do a positive decision, design, construct a whole size plan or modify an existing one. So by this we can use the pilot plan for the success of our The normal pilot plan operations carried out are the validation, training, the engineering support, maintenance, calibration, 
material control, inventories, orders, labeling, process and manufacturing activity, quality assurance and these are the general considerations in a pilot plan scale up. This may be an essay question or we should know this concept. What are the considerations in a pilot plan scale up? First one, who is having the reporting responsibility? The R1D group, that is the research and development group with separate staffing, help in reporting any errors occurs. If the formulator who developed the product can take into the production and provide support, even after the transition into production. As a whole, we can tell the combination of all the workers in the industry give a good result. Consideration is the personal requirement, that is, the personal means staff. The scientists with experience in the pilot plant operation as well as in the actual production area are the most preferable one in the pilot plant scale up. We want to understand the intent of the formulator as well as the understand the perspective of the production person. So, combine all the stuff to get a final effect. In addition to this, the scientists or the one who have experience in the production as well as the pilot plan, a group is also considered that is the personnel with engineering knowledge as well as the scale up to involve in the engineering principles. Third consideration is the space requirement. That is, first of all, as we all know, if we go for an industry or a shop, whatever it is, first is the information area or reception as well as the administration area. Likewise, in our industry also, this first of all, we can see the administration and information processing area. That is, first of all, we want to require the space for this session, that is, for the administration as well as the information processing. Next, we want to give importance to the area that is physical testing area that is very important in case of a pharmaceutical industry. This area provides the permanent bench top space for the routinely used physical testing equipment and testing area. And a standard discrete pilot plant space for the equipment needed for the manufacturing, all type of dosage form, etc. And intermediate size and full scale production equipment is essential for evaluating the scale of research, formulation and process. And this equipment use should be made portable wherever possible so that we can store in small stores. Next, we want to consider the storage area. There should be two areas. It can be divided as approved and unapproved area for active ingredient as well as for the excipient. In addition to that, different areas should be provided in the storage area for the storage of in-process material, finished bulk product from the pilot plan, and material from the experimental scale of batches made in the production. So a storage area should be made. And a thorough review of each aspect of formulation is very, very, very important because the purpose of each ingredient and its contribution to the final product should be understood by each and every person involved in the process. Then we can improve the effect of the scale up using the equipment that may relieve the stresses and readily predicted or recognized. Fifth consideration is the raw material. One purpose of responsibility of the pilot plan is the approval and validation of the active ingredient and excipient or raw material. The raw material used in the small scale production cannot necessarily be the representative for the large scale production. You may get confused with the same raw material. Most of the cases, the same raw material is using, but some variations or the correction involved in the small scale can be used in the large scale production. Sixth consideration is the equipment. The most economical and the simplest and efficient equipment which are capable of producing the product are used. That is the concept of using an equipment. And the, going to the thinking about the size of the equipment, the equipment size should be such that the experimental trial run should be relevant to the production size that is. For example, if the equipment size is too small, the process developed will not scale up. Whereas if equipment size is too big, then the wastage of expensive active ingredient. So we can consider such things and use a 
equipment size that should be relevant to the production size batches. Seventh is the production rate. That is, the immediate as well as the future market trends or requirement are considered while determining the production. Eighth one is the process evaluation. That is, finally after the process we want to evaluate the parameters like the order of mixing of the components, mixing speed, mixing time as well as the rate of addition of the granulating agents involved, solvent, solution of the drug, etc. And by evaluating all this process, the effect of the product will be maximum availability and maximum productivity. What is the need of carrying out a process evaluation? The knowledge of the basic effect produced by each and every process as well as the process parameter as we already discussed about slide form the basis for the process optimization and validation. So, what are the objectives of maintaining or obtaining a pilot plant scaler? This is by which we are avoiding the large sum of money that is spending. That is, before going to a huge sum of money, we are doing that is, that is the weight sheet should clearly identify the chemicals required in a batch to prevent the confusion, the names and identified numbers for each and every ingredient should be used with the help of a batch score. And the process direction should be precise, that is simple and explicit, that is easily definable to find out each and every ingredient. A manufacturing procedure should be written by the actual operator. So the same operation or procedure can be carried by carried out by each and every person who is carrying out the process if not if someone not familiar with this subject doing with another procedure the yield may differ so think about that important thing and various specification like what is the addition rate when it is mixed that is mixing time mixing speed heating cooling rate temperature storing of the finished manufacturing or product sample should be mentioned in batch record direction the important thing is that as we already discussed person to person the way of doing or mixing may differ so a clear cut or precise explanation of the master manufacturing area or master manufacturing procedure will produce the same yield product that may help to maintain a uniformity in the batch. Tenth consideration is the product stability as well as the uniformity. The primary objective of the pilot plan is the physical as well as the chemical stability of the product. Here is pilot batch representing the final formulation and manufacturing procedure should be studied for the stability because our aim is to maintain the stability of the final product. If it is stable, it should be uniform. So stability as well as uniformity studies are carried out from the initial step, from the raw material up to the finished packaging as well. GMB consideration should be carried out in pilot plant scale. GMB means good manufacturing practices. So what are the GMP consideration or good manufacturing practices should be considered in pilot plant scale up. We want to check equipment qualification, the process validation, regularly schedule the maintaining procedures, regularly process the review and revalidation, relevant written SOPs that is standard operating procedure for each and every equipment, procedure like that and use of a competent technically qualified person and we want to train our personnel or staff a well-defined technology transfer system should be maintained validated cleaning procedure should be carried the advantages the advantages of using this gmp procedures in our pilot plan is that members of the production and quality control division can observe the scale up runs that is the effect is high and the supply of the excipient and the drugs clearly by the quality control division can be drawn and will produce more products 
and access to the engineering department personnel for the equipment installation maintenance and repair will give more efficiency or life longevity of our equipments gone to the disadvantages the frequency of the direct interaction of the formulator with the production personnel area will be reduced and any problem in manufacturing will be directed towards its its own pilot plant personnel so this can be minimized with the r and d group and the coordinators that will reduce the interaction problem with the formulator as well as the production personnel and the manufacturing area by this we come to the end of the session here in the session we try to enhance your knowledge on the topic pilot plant scaler we can deal with the most important topic coming in the coming semester if you like this please like the video and share and support and if you are not subscribers till now please subscribe thank you for watching thank you once again